Okay, guys, we are at StamperCon Allentown, April 1st, 2023, with the owner of Blue Knight Rubber Stamps, Lynn, and she's going to show a demonstration of her new stencils. Go ahead. Okay, so every stencil comes with instructions, and it comes with four pieces. It's been used, so it's a little messy. So we have the bare stencil here. Here's a thick color through stencil, a thin stamp through stencil. And it comes with the masks, thin and thick as well. So we're gonna start with the thick one. I have repositional tape on here. You can see right through it. So we're gonna color through it. Whoops. And we are using pan pastels. Of course, of course. So we make if, everything easy. Yes. If you um, if you wanted to get a little wispy sky, go from the outside in. We're going to put a little bit of green at the bottom for grass. Make sure his ears only colored. All right, so we did the color part. Oh, he looks cool just duck. like that, like a polar bear in yeah, winter. Cute. Yeah. All right, so now you take the thin one and you're going to line it up. So you started with the thicker stencil, now you're doing the thin stencil and you're lining it up. Got it. Okay. Oops. I think I might need a little bit more double sided. So the way you line your stamp up for this, so yesterday I lined it up, put my stencil in, I laid my stamp over top of it to get where I wanted it to be. So we're going to ink this up. What's the name of the stamp that you're using? This is Seasonal Woodland. Seasonal Woodlands and the Bear Stencil. You can use any scene stamp that you want that will stamp through it. And because I'm getting older and my wrists are getting weak, I'm actually going to step on my platform to do the stamping. Oh, okay. This is a super thin um, stencil, but you still have to apply quite a bit of pressure, pressure to, to it. get to the edges. So I'm just step on it, I mean. <laughs> Getting great pressure that way. So it's a new right. tech, new stamping technique, you guys. All new, never seen before. <laughs> I learned this from the ladies at the shows. All right, so that looks good. You stamp it'll again. look a lot like this. Beautiful. But to finish it off, you can take one of the little foam applicators that you can get for your pan pastels and just save one out for ink, and just take the ink and right. edge it. Oh, like and a little shadow. That does just a little shadowing, right? And you just want to go around all the way around the whole thing and that will finish it off and how many total stencils do you have right now we have six different ones okay I have ideas for other ones so great things to look forward to yay and make sure you follow Blue Knight Rubber Stamps on YouTube for ideas. They also have a Facebook group, wonderful design team, so lots of different ideas on using their products. So definitely, if you have not, if you have not jumped onto Pan Pastels, the kits that they offer are an amazing value. They have a pastel kit, a brights kit, a little bit darker kit. Um, they come with tools. They come in the stand. So great starter kits for you guys to check out. Look at this. And again, That's you awesome. get four stencils in the pack. You get a thicker stencil, a thinner stencil, a thick mask, and a thin mask. Thank you, Lynn. That was awesome. You're welcome. Thanks, and Nance. You can check out where they're going to be, stampercon.net, Blue Knight Rubber Stamps Online. Bye. Bye. <laughs>